and I am ready whenever y'all's is. I'm. Is okay. anyone ever truly ready? You know what, Jesse? You raise a good point. But also, I don't care. Welcome to Bracket, the only show where we take a bunch of shit and face it off against another bunch of shit to see what the best shit really is. I'm your host, Cullen Jennings, and joining me today is John Abbott. Uh, it's Brittany, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Don't forget about Jesse Knowles. Hey, I'm Jesse. Uh, there are an awful lot of books I would have liked to have on this bracket, but no one else is going to know what the hell I'm talking about. And Emmy-nominated creator of all those books that Jesse was talking about, Greg L. Mercer. Hi, I'm Greg L. Mercer, and I don't read no books. <laughs> Well, well, yeah. okay. And special guest with us this week, we have Aubrey Sitterson, host of Straight Shoot. Ow! What's happening, boys? Thanks for having me. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, thanks for coming on. Thank yeah. you for yeah, coming man. on. Yeah, man. I'm, 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 I'm thrilled to get all fantastic up in here. It's going to be magical go. and mystical. <laughs> maybe so since we've the- had a lot of episodes that could do this before, but I think this episode may be the most, like, give people, like, wedgie flashbacks or something, you know? like <laughs> It's very high school. All right, we'll take out your D20s and get to rolling because we're going to talk about the best fantasy setting this week. So right away in group er, in group A in round one, we have Middle Earth versus Tamriel. We have group Tamriel. B. Tamriel. <laughs> sorry, Excuse sorry. Excuse me, I'm sorry. sorry. I just, I feel like we, we, we got to get this started off. We can't get off to that kind of start. He's right. Mispronouncing He's right. Tamriel. Tamriel. Cullen mispronounces a lot of stuff. Everything. Though, so. <laughs> Everything. Just most uh, words. Yeah, most every it's normal speaking. Uh, group B, we have the Dragon Ball Universe versus the Wizarding World. In Group C, we have Azeroth versus Dominaria. Or Dominaria? Is that however is that what you want to go with? It's, it's open. That to sounds great. Okay. Uh, group D, Wonderland versus Neverland. In Group E, the Four Nations versus Hyrule. In Group F, the Forgotten Realms versus the Age of Hyboria. In Group G, we have Westeros and Essos uh, versus Narnia. And in Group H, we have the Land of Ooh versus Ivalis, Ivalis, whatever, Ivalis. whatever Ivalis. y'all want to call it. Ivalis. I don't. Ivalis. Why you guys Ivalis. screwed that up before the show? So, uh, Group A, Middle Earth, and Tamriel. <laughs> Who cares to take a stab at it? Uh, it's I, I. Sorry to call it so early. It's Middle Earth. I mean, it's kind of got to be right. Yeah, well, they're both. I mean, the thing is, these are both like super kind of high fantasy. They both have like your multitude of races. They both have like your elves and your. Dwar- I mean, let's be clear. The world of Middle Earth is it what casts kind- a long shadow. In yeah, and it's genre. it's it's like the tree that all sort of high fantasy falls from in a it's way. Like and a progenitor. And the Elder Scrolls games are definitely underneath that tree. And also, most of them suck. Like all of them. <laughs> That's not that's, <laughs> that's not, not true. true at all. That's kind of a hundred percent true. It's kind of true. It's Every kinda character true. Like, like, in no, there is some like, sort of burn victim like, who's made like of plastic. Skirum, Skirum is kind of the best game I've ever played. But like honestly, that's, yes, that's how it's pronounced, right? Skirum. <laughs> it's actually Squirum, like you're a boy. Squirum. Squirum. No, here's the thing. I'll tell you. Like it's got to be Middle Earth. But just I want to I want to give Tamriel its due, which is that unlike Middle Earth, which is just like Anglo Northern European right. uh, proxy stuff. Tamriel is kind of cool because it also does approximations of all kinds of other ethnicities and races and right. uh, like civilizations and stuff, which is, I think it, it's, it's definitely something it has above Middle Earth, but for, you know, for influence alone, Middle Earth has got to take it. Yeah, It also yeah. has lizard people and cat people. Right. It, That's yeah. what I was going to say. Like, I think uh, on paper, like, I think obviously Middle Earth is, a, is like the better choice, but uh, I do like, uh, I think Tamriel's uh, race selection but- is... And here's the kind thing, of like, more interesting. Greg, you can say whatever you want about Elder Scrolls games, but they're okay. better than any Lord of the Rings game that's come out. I that's don't fair. know that's if that's true. There were some pretty good Lord of the Rings games on the PS2. No, be- no, there, no, there were. Stop. Like, people you, that new one was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Oh, yeah. Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor is good. Oh, okay. But it's, it's as way good more, as Skyrim. It's cool. way more okay. fun to cast like crazy stuff in Skyrim than to hop around. Skyrim is just a big, like, chug it out. I can steal all this stuff. I can be a dick as much as I want. No, that's not it at all. It There's sucks. No one plays the story in those games. Do you know why? Because the story blows, and it's not because like, oh, you can do it. You can do whatever you want. Why would you do the story? Trust me. If there was a good story, you'd go and do it. <laughs> I just can I, tell you, can I tell you this too? I would rather 
there, like Tamriel or uh, Tamriel, uh, the Elder Scrolls <laughs> games, there are a lot of books you can read. Like Skyrim has so many books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And absolutely. you can find out all this information, but like hell, I'm doing that. I would, yeah. much, I would rather read the Silmarillion than read books. Oh, oh I don't like, know if I'd go that far. Books in it, Elder Scrolls. You would rather read, read imaginary <sighs> books in Elder Scrolls than the Silmarillion? The, the Silmarillion, the, the cinnamon roll is like a tough read. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, a dry drug. read. Well, I, I, to me, Tamriel is about as generic as it can possibly get. It just doesn't feel. You good love to it. Me. Look, you love that. I guarantee you, absolutely love that new Dragon Age game. Well, yeah, but that's, that's because of the characters, not because of the scroll, setting. Though. But whatsoever. I'm saying that's it, it's just a knockoff. Well, that no, I'm saying you're absolutely right. Like the <laughs> setting for Tamriel and the setting for Dragon Age, identical. They're both just Tolkien that's not knockoffs. True. They both okay. suck. In Tamriel, there's that swamp area where you could ride these giant, crazy, like big mushroom creatures. Like there's weird stuff in Tamriel. Not for the yeah. past like decade of video games. Okay. Well, no, <laughs> I would disagree on so that. It yeah. sounds like we already know where the votes are going. Yeah, anyway, I'm a Middle but. Earth vote. Where where's the Middle Earth? Else? I, Earth, I'm yeah. also a Middle Earth vote, Thank but you. I think Tamriel is worth praise that it gets. I, yeah. Well, yeah. There's nothing in. Well, whatever. Colin, Jesse, <laughs> where are votes? Yeah, I'll be a Middle Earth vote. I, I think Tamriel is awesome, but yeah. Jesse? I don't. I I haven't had that much to say about this because I honestly don't really care all that much about either of these. Uh, I'm gonna vote Middle Earth. But uh, I do think that there there is something to Tamriel. I don't think it's just a, I don't think it's just a generic fantasy setting. That is Although the most mostly... contentious sweep we've ever had. <laughs> All right, we got a Middle Earth sweep, five to nothing, knocking out Tamriel. All right, we got the Dragon Ball Universe versus the Wizarding World. I think this is a super fun one. So, Can I ask so, a question? Yeah. Is, yes. What is I, I've never seen a Harry Potter movie. First of all, uh, is the you Wizarding are... World? Is the Wizarding World? Is that the name of the world? Or is, is <laughs> okay. Like, just, we, that no, was... you know what? I don't want to have this conversation. That was a theme park. What is we, that? It is absolutely a theme park. <laughs> I fought so hard against calling it Wizard World. We should have just there... called it Harry Potter Universe. It's like if 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 we <laughs> called the Marvel there. Universe Superhero Island. There's only there one were... thing called this Wizarding World, and it's a fucking Harry Potter theme park. They don't hey, say it in the books. Our... They don't say it in the movies. <laughs> hey, shout out to our producer for Janelle for making us put as wizarding world. It was all you, I'm all sorry, you Janelle. Know. Don't say I didn't call this. Okay. All <laughs> tweets go to her. Aubrey, you've opened a fresh wound, as I'm sure you could tell. <laughs> uh, I want to put salt in it too. We had a uh, we had a lot of backroom discussion and things got heated. Uh Harry Potter takes place on Earth, right. but it is it is a <laughs> it is an alternate kind of Earth where it takes place in the nineties, no. Less. Magical society has alternate its Earth. own like like secret society separated from the rest of humanity. Right. Well, listen, I never saw a Harry Potter movie because this is the type of guy I was in 2001. I was incensed that that anyone would dare put a fantasy movie out before the Lord of the Rings movie. Came out. <laughs> <laughs> try and take away some of that sweet, sweet fantasy box office. So I never ended up seeing those. Also, I'm an adult, so I don't. I didn't watch them. Uh, that being said, Dragon Ball sci-fi, man, they ain't fantasy. See, yeah, that's what, what I thought now. as well. But you Potter know what? There's a lot of aspects of Dragon Ball that are very high fantasy. There's like an afterlife realm you go to. There's yeah, clouds way. people run on. on snake way. There's uh, mystical spirit energies. I mean, there's a, there's a lot there's going on ships. in Dragon Ball. There are spaceships and capsule okay. houses and all kinds of stuff. Okay. But there's also dinosaurs living among. Yeah, yeah. Like there's people. actual yeah. dinosaurs. Like, dinosaurs like, aren't fantasy. That, that, that those existed. Well, well Dragon Ball dragons. dragons are certainly fantasy. There is uh, there's a dragon and it's got balls. It's a, there's two and dragons. he can grant wishes. It's a space dragon. Though. Certainly not through science. Shenlong is a space dragon, if I've ever seen one. Uh, it's, it's, a weird, it's a weird combination of, of fantasy and sci-fi, and I think it kind of deserves to be on here. Um, but by that argument, I don't know if Harry Potter technically counts as a fantasy world. No, 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 because here's the thing. You, the problem is you can't think of fantasy as the traditional, like, high fantasy. Like, fantasy, I mean, people call, people have gotten to the point now where they say Star Wars is a space fantasy and not a sci-fi movie. Like, Well, I, I, yeah, but I don't know if I buy into that. I, 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 I do, and I think the difference between Dragon Ball and, and Star Wars is this, right? Sci-fi is aspirational, whereas fantasy is romantic, right? So fantasy looks backwards and sci-fi looks forwards. And, and and with Dragon Ball, it's all about the future. It's all about even though there's like there's weird magical stuff and like references to like Chinese mythology and things like that. I know it's Japanese, but it's Chinese mythology that they're referencing. Yeah, it is because it's, uh, it's yeah, based yeah, yeah, on yeah. Journey to the West. I know. I just yeah. I wanted to get ahead of somebody. <laughs> I didn't know that Dragon Ball was Japanese. I know. I know. Right. Uh, but yeah, like so, like it's still very forward looking as opposed to Star Wars, which you know is literally in a, a long, a long, long time ago. You know. That's a valid right, right, argument. Right. 
Uh, yeah. I, I, this is a real tough one for me. Who else, Does anybody have votes yet? Well, so, I, and this is something that I'm going to think about with all of these, is I'm going to try and put my pl- myself in these worlds and kind of think about, like, what it would be like to be in them. And both of these have this thing, a lot of these are going to have this, where, like, <laughs> in Dragon Ball, like, you see like city scenes and like normal humans going about their day and it's kind of like it's kind of everyone's stuck in like 90s era clothes but they have like hovering cars and it it seems like it's kind of a good life until some alien comes and like tries to blow your city up and like harry potter like harry potter is kind of just it's like modern present setting like you could be a normal person and not know about any of the weird stuff going on in harry potter right it's completely kept away from everybody well yeah yeah like if you you were fighting a war you would know that you're fighting a war like when giant aliens come to your city and destroy it well i i there's a lot of cool stuff in the harry potter universe there's quidditch there's like the stuff beyond just hogwarts i mean hogwarts is very cool if you're there's listing the depth coolest depth. things in the harry potter universe you go with quidditch yeah i don't think quidditch yeah, okay on. no you know quidditch what that, like, I, 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 the quidditch I, world I, cup I, is a cool I, moment in those books i remember that very vividly maybe in the books but quidditch is itself is not cool <laughs> well okay well there's also the, fucking dragons and shit but that just means Dragon Ball does better because they have fucking better dragons that grant wishes. Uh, you know what? I'm coming in as a Dragon Ball universe vote because uh, fuck the Wizarding World. Right. I know you. <laughs> Colin hates Harry Potter. Top to bottom. I don't necessarily but, hate Harry Potter. I'm just so over just the the gushiness about it when it was mediocre. Oh, I don't think it's mediocre. I think it was. I think, I think it was very well done. Um, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. I just think it, overall now it's to me it's like eh, whatever. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Where Where is everyone else's votes? I'm still thinking. Um, you don't have I time don't know. to think. I, I. You know what? I think I'm going to be a Dragon Ball Universe vote. Uh, hey. Just because I like I like the creativity of it behind more than than uh, there's a world of wizards in the real world. Uh, yeah. I am actually going to come in as Harry Potter uh, because uh, assuming that the odds worked out in my favor, I think I'd rather be able to cast spells than do the stuff that... Because, like, you could be a wizard in Harry Potter and have a peaceful life of being able to do cool spells, but if you're if you're a Z fighter or whatever, if you're someone who has a high, like, <laughs> power level in Dragon Ball... You are getting you to, the absolute yeah, you're shit getting beat, beat out of you minimum once like, a year. Yeah, but you're coming back to life, so it don't matter. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't come back to life. A big gor- Gorilla monster. Also, yeah, only exactly. Saiyans. What if I'm not a Saiyan? What if I'm a yeah. human and I get stuck at like Krillin level and I can't do anything cool? Okay, you well, do I get to bit. marry Krillin Android 18? Krillin could cut Krillin okay, can no, cut the tops off a of mountain. Yes, Krillin can. I'm a huge yeah. Krillin fan. Destructo Disc is like the coolest thing in the show, but. Everybody, like, shout out. John just said he hates Krillin. Oh, Jesus. John shout literally. out to Krillin. Krillin, the, the Quidditch of Dragon hey, Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm a Harry Potter vote. You kind of swaying me, John. I, I I I do like the the aesthetic of the Harry Potter universe. I like the the sorting into houses and the the. I I want to be in Wizard High School, basically. I mean, here's the, the thing: if you have powers in Dragon Ball, you, they're only good for destroying things. If you have spe- wizard spells in Harry Potter, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with but them. But you gotta yeah. study for it. <laughs> you yeah, you have to it. work your ass off. Well, that no means thing. I get to. I don't have to be born a Saiyan. I'm um, sorry. You have to, you have I want to play fly. nerdy magical lacrosse. Also, <laughs> yeah. <Something else> <laughs> I want to fly and carry my house in my pocket. I'm sorry. That's such a weird. Uh... <laughs> it's it's two to two. It's down to you, Aubrey. Um, I. I don't think Dragon Ball. I still don't think Dragon Ball is fantasy. But honestly, fuck the Wizarding World. <laughs> Dragon Ball. I'm going with Dragon Ball. Yes. <laughs> Went full heel on that. Dragon Ball <laughs> Universe knocks out the Wizarding World three to two. So we that's, don't have to explain it anymore. That's fine. I actually was um, okay with either one of these moving on. So. Uh, yeah. So the Dragon Ball Universe knocks out Wizarding World three to two. We have Azeroth versus Dominaria. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come in early on this one. Um, I don't care about Azeroth. I I. I know it's a setting very dear to a lot of people. It just never hooked me. Um, For those who don't know, by the way, Azeroth from right, Azeroth Warcraft from World of Warcraft and, and, and the Warcraft series, um, Dominaria from Magic: The Gathering uh, is is a weird entry because we're sort of using it to mean like every setting that's ever been in Magic: The Gathering. So it's a lot of different planes, which to me is way too broad, and there's no cohesion. Like Mirrodin is so different from Kamigawa and all these sorts of different planes. Places. Um, but even I, if it was just Dominaria, though, I mean, Dominaria, like my big thing with Azeroth is I, I like the Warcraft world, right? Like, the Warcraft world is fantastic. It's great, but it's very, very limited. It's it's even more it, 
because it's it it is just kind of a Lord of the Rings knockoff, but it's even more limited than Lord of the Rings, I think. Uh, whereas mm. Dominaria is, you know, like all the like the two brothers war and everything. Sure. Like it was it was an entire planet. And again, it was what I was saying about Tamriel. It has the same thing going for it there. And it's there's a really big diversity of civilizations and races and monsters and stuff like that. Sure. Even before you they know. got into like Mirrodin and all these other planes and everything, like they had the sure. Weatherlight Saga, they had invasion, they had an apocalypse and everything. I mean, there was a lot of really cool shit going on just in Dominaria proper. Um, so I'm a, I'm a Dominaria vote. I, I, I'm gonna go with you, Greg, because I, I, the thing about Azeroth and like just Warcraft in general is that like from kind of the very beginning, that setting has always been sort of a, a parody. Like, I mean, right? And, and yeah, there, that's what I was gonna say. There are cool things about Az. I mean, you know, there's this whole aspect of Azeroth where you know i mean the orcs didn't originate on azeroth they came from another planet slash plane depending on how you want to look at it and mm-hmm. there there are twists that have that they've taken the setting of the warcraft games in but at its core it was kind of just a setting they came up with for like it, it was a backdrop and they kind of played off of like fantasy tropes with it so i'm also going to go with the magic the gathering world i nothing i'm going to I'm right there with Greg. Like, I do not give a shit about Azeroth. Um, (laughs) I don't know much about the Magic the Gathering world, but I do know, uh, I do know bits and pieces. Um, I really like that Magic the Gathering is basically this, just, just this giant fantasy playground. Uh, yeah, I'll be a Dominaria vote. Um, yeah, there you go. I think there's a lot of discrediting of Azeroth's <laughs> story. I think there's a lot of stuff that you're overlooking. I love magic setting. Uh, but I actually think that Dominaria, Dominaria sucks compared to Mirrodin. I think Whoa. that I think all <laughs> I, the I agree. stuff from Mirrodin on is fantastic. I think everything Wait, when, which, sucks which, total ass. Which set does Mirrodin start with? Mirrodin starts with a set called Mirrodin. And then yeah, yeah, it, it was oh, just base dude. set. Oh, man, yeah. I dropped out long, 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 long before yeah. that. Yeah, uh, Mir- so like, so yeah. I, I dropped out at, with the expansion after Ice Age. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. That's, that's I mid-90s. might be older than you guys. Yeah. yeah. It's been a minute so, since I played so Magic I, the Gathering. So all, I, the, all the stuff I played was Dominaria, though, right? Yes. Ice Age, everything, yeah, everything there, yeah, everything, everything up until about 2002 is Dominaria. Oh. And yeah. then yeah. they yeah. go Dominaria's to a place dope. called Oteria, and then I, they go to different planes, and it gets very weird. Like, they, there's, there's sets that are sort of like horror movie based, and Kamigawa was like Eastern mythology based. And they've, they've um, yeah. gone back to Dominaria and it's like completely destroyed and overtaken by Phyrexia. And all of this doesn't matter if you don't play Magic. <laughs> so I'm just going to stop babbling. Well, I mean, but it, even way... if you play Magic, does it matter? No, oh, well, you're I mean, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's, like, let's be honest. If you're going to build your, if you're going to, if you're going to look through cards, you're going to build a deck. You're not going to give a shit about a setting. I never well, once. Some you're people don't don't I actually flavor text. Look for it. You don't read flavor text. Yeah, no, some no, people no, are no, very no, deep in flavor text. I play a lot of different cards games i read flavor text i i actually do i mean when i was introduced to magic the gathering it was through its setting and like the the older cousin who taught me how to play it kind of set me down first and said okay in this game you and i are the take the roles of like these planes walkers and we're summoning things from all over the place and stuff like that and that's kind of what drew me into that game in the first place and i do think if you're someone who's interacting with magic it's a more interesting role than the way you interact with azeroth which is you're just a hero out of like thousands i used to read magic the gathering novel I've, um, I've read one or two, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is a world that exists. And like even, and so like, I get the argument like, oh, well, it, it got more complex later as it went on with uh, the Magic right. Gathering Center. But even Dominaria, just by itself, man, you've got Ice Age with big fucking woolly mammoths and stuff. You've got underwater creatures. You've got just Arabia off in the corner. I, like, I got all that. More, I, got that I, I got all that and wow, I'm fine. Colin, are you <laughs> so, an Azeroth? You, I, Azeroth, but I thought you mostly just way. had pandas in Azeroth. I, <laughs> no, that's even a new thing. See, that's... That's another new thing. Yeah. Uh, no, no I, I'm going I, with I get what you're saying. Right. I get what you're saying, Cullen. Uh, you know, you don't. I, for me, specifically, who comes, who goes back and forth to Magic. Uh, I like the actual mechanics of the game. I've never really gotten w- much into the world of Magic, but uh, there was one thing that I saw in Magic that was like really cool, and I have no idea where this takes place in the Magic world. But I got a Slither deck, and oh, the man. concept of Slithers is awesome. To we me. can we no. can talk about right. Slithers next round. <laughs> okay. All right, Dominar. 
Arya knocks out Azeroth four to one. We have Wonderland versus Neverland. Don't care, jerk off round. Both of these. Wonderland stuff. takes it because <laughs> Never Neverland is a sausage party. Too many I, dudes. I'm <laughs> too many dudes in Neverland. I'm voting Neverland because I want to be a pirate and I don't ever want to. Yeah, go I, I'm not really sure. I get like I understand that these aren't as fantastical, but I don't really understand Greg's like huge indifference because I just don't care. I think there's something exciting like with Neverland you have this like frontier spirit like it's it's yeah there's pirates there's Native Americans there's crocodiles there like I, I think to me Neverland is like a place you can go it's not a setting by any stretch see I'll tell you here if Neverland was like super brutal like it should be <laughs> I'd be all in if there were a I'd be I'm rolling my eyes right now it'd be to oh be quiet <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, oh man a fantasy setting where people die brutally <laughs> No, oh, I man, didn't, no, sign no, no, me no, no, the no, fuck no, no, up. No, no, I don't like I your Neverland not. reimagining. It just sounds like like fantasy Oz to me. Yeah, yeah. Just all I these love guys that, and 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 doing die. terrible I, things to each other. I just imagine like a bunch, if like, if it was like, that group of boys, Game they were like Thrones. brawling all the time. Hey, speak, like, yeah, I what if we had, what if like Game of Thrones, but it was in like Neverland and like all these boys just never grew up and then they're just beating the shit out of each other. Oh, man. Jess, Jess, Jesse's dumb. So the uh, thing I'll say about the thing I'll say about Wonderland is that it's probably the most like surreal and like close to sort of like psychedelic of these places yes. that we have. Like you have you have landscapes in Wonderland that just kind of end. You have doors that you can't fit like you have like impossible geometry in some instances of There's wonderland a lot of really really cool stuff in wonderland kingdom hearts kind of ruined wonderland for oh me. don't no, bring that shut up. up god you are a baby <laughs> I love well, Jesse, I they love hit Wonderland. people with swords and that. Um, shut up. Uh, no, Wonderland is way cooler <laughs> oh than God. Neverland. All right. I love Wonderland because it's uh, it's it's got all the logic stuff, right? Lewis Carroll was the logician, and he did like as you guys were saying, like all this surreal, weird stuff, and like the word games and everything, way better than just I don't know, like pirates who maybe want to do weird stuff with a bunch of <laughs> orphan boys, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and so I, Wonderland does have two things. It's got like a in my mind, it's got a point four and point against it. In one point four is that you got a big old caterpillar smoking and talking to you about weird like giving you riddles and stuff that's cool uh, point against it you gotta be careful what you drink and eat cause you might shrink or grow to like crazy sizes in, in Neverland, you, you, you Neverland, you get to have it. a good time with no responsibilities and like except for when the until pirates, pirates kind of come and fuck come you up. For you. Those pirates yeah. suck though. They were like yeah, they're not, not they they aren't going to try to kill you. They aren't trying to do the weird stuff because like that's the that's the in the Colin's retelling of Neverland. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. No, they try. <laughs> to you guys are talking about doing like a real serious, grim and gritty Never Neverland, a sci-fi original series. Yeah, that that already happened, y'all. Uh, so Neverland's it, fun. I don't. I don't. I mean, Neverland sucks. Jesse, Wonderland wins. <laughs> Neverland rules. Cullen's Wonderland. Jesse's Neverland. Aubrey, where are you? Wonderland. John. I, I'm sorry, Jesse. I. I. Think it's fine. I'm gonna give it's it fine. to Wonderland as well. All I right. don't hate. I don't hate Wonderland. Conceptually, it's a much better place. Jesse, I'll side with you because I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wonderland knocks out Neverland three to two. Oh, Way well, too pirates close. Are, pirates rule. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, Four Nations versus Hyrule. So Four Nations is the name of the setting from Avatar Saga and Korra. Uh, for people who don't know that, Hyrule Can you is hear me doing a hand jerk off motion. Can yeah. You hear that? Oh yeah. I just assume <laughs> okay. everybody does all the time while listening to bracket. Uh, Hyrule. <laughs> is from the Legend of Zelda series. Um, Four Nations is better. I, I've never heard of it. Never heard of Legend of Zelda. What's that? <laughs> it's garbage. No, that's not true. Uh, Legend of Zelda is one of those things that I don't like that everybody else likes, and I recognize I'm wrong. Like, no, man, things... I'm with you. I was a Sega kid growing up, so yeah. I never got into Zelda. Like, it just does not. It does nothing. Yeah, for me. I, 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 I played Ocarina of Time with a friend like a couple years ago, and I, it just, I was like, well, I don't, I don't see why this is a big deal. Um, I. <sighs> So I'm going to predictably vote Hyrule, but I want to say that Four Na I want to recognize, I, I want to flat out say I'm voting Hyrule because I feel like Four Nations is the better choice. And I feel like that's what's going to win. Jesse, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what you, you're just babbling. Well, so let me, 
in terms of like what makes Hyrule kind of interesting, Greg, I, I a lot of it I think is uninteresting. But I will say, in terms of like you know a fantasy setting, the the races and the monsters that exist in in the Zelda games are pretty unique. Like technically, yeah, you could you know because we talked about it before with Middle Earth. Like a lot of fantasy settings are just copying what Tolkien did, and you can draw similarities between like dwarves and Gorons and elves and Zoras, but yeah, they're pretty different. Like. And I, I do think there's some very interesting, like, sure. I will, when you get into the details, feels very much like its own place, whereas a lot of fantasy settings don't manage to do that. Sure. There's, and and there's I, have interesting... a, I have a respect for the Zelda series. Like, it's it's not like I think, oh, these games suck. They're bad. Like, I get why they're good games. They're just not for me. They're not the kind of games I want to play. My However, with, the Four yeah. Nations, that's a world I want to live in every day. My problem with Hyrule is kind of the same problem that I had with Azeroth, which is that it was, it was kind of a, it was, it's a setting that was kind of retrofitted just to fit what they needed, right? Cause like, sure. you know, like, like all this, all this stuff didn't exist with the original Zelda game or Link, just like the stuff didn't exist with, um, Warcraft one, right? Or right, two, right? Or, you know, right, it didn't, right, right. It didn't come out so what later. you're saying is they're writing it in as they need yeah, it. Yeah. And it, and it feels that way to me. Like whenever I have spent any time with Zelda stuff, that, it just the, feels like what, they just kind of so, shove it in to make the, whatever game that they're playing. That's Army. sort of like that's sort of like what I mean because like Four Nations is a realized like universe. It's a it's a world that they built. It, there's a timeline to it. There's a beginning. Uh, there isn't really an end. Uh, but like Hyrule does feel sort of retrofitted. I just I'm familiar with uh, Hyrule. I'm way more familiar with Hyrule than I am. Whoops. I'm way more f- uh, familiar with Hyrule than I am uh, Four Nations because I've only watched like the first half of the first season of Avatar. So. Also, I mean, let's be real here. Like, who doesn't want to be a bender from Avatar? Yeah. Like, who doesn't want to? So, I've never seen Avatar Korra. So, so oh, what's man, cool about Avatar, yeah, I'm Aubrey, what's cool about Avatar is there's these four nations at war. Well, four nations, which are just essentially elements in all yeah. reality. Earth, it, water, it, it, fire, and air. Yeah, and, and you basically, if you're a bender trained under these, you know, classes, basically, you can bend earth. So you can throw rocks, you can throw boulders, you can make r- earth rise, you can, you can throw fire. You can, yeah, so it, it's a pretty cool universe. It's super wild. Um, I just played Majora's Mask for the first time. As did I. And, and while I liked it, I think Aubrey makes a really good point that the world was kind of just fitted uh, to, wanna, to what I want to interject want. before you finish that. That's <laughs> not Hyrule. But, oh, uh, right. Boy. That's okay. Dumb Where is and that? Stupid. Where's Majora's Mask take place? Uh, that takes place in Termina, which may not actually exist. Oh boy. Uh, okay. I'm I'm a, I'm a four, I'm nations four nations boat. Yeah, nations that's now, an okay. actually yeah. sway right there. Yeah, four nations. <laughs> I never even seen that. Thank you, now, I Jesse. Definitely want to go with four nations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, no, I knew this was going to happen, uh, but uh, that's fine with me. I don't care. I'm right. not that big into Hyrule. The four nations knock out Hyrule four to one. We've got the Forgotten Realms versus the Age of Hyboria. So Forgotten Realms being one of the most prominent Dungeons and Dragons settings, Age of Hyboria being the setting of like all of the Conan stories, Conan the Barbarian, uh, King Conan, etc. Something tells me Aubrey has stuff to say about the Age of Hyboria. <laughs> I'm super into it, man. I'm a Conan. Yeah. Guy. I'm a Rocky Howard guy. I love it. And what's more, so even here's the thing. I'm not even gonna tell you why I love Con- like Age of Hyboria. I'm just gonna tell you why I don't want Forgotten Realms to win, <laughs> which is that I don't even think it's the best Dungeons and Dragons setting. I'm a Thank Dragonland. You. guy. Fuck Forgotten Realms. So it's all I'm, about Dragonlands. I'm, ex- I'm a I'm a Dark Sun kind of guy. Okay. I'm deep into Eberron. Everyone has down, robots, bunch so... Of, there's a bunch of different weird kind of guys here. Yeah. All <laughs> See, I'm into guys. the Forgotten Realms. I can get down with the Sword Coast. I'm, I'm absolutely a Forgotten Realms vote. I do not... I'm sorry, man. I don't care about Conan at I'm going to be a Conan vote. I think Conan's really interesting and a, a big departure from a lot of these other ones because Conan is purposefully like, okay, this is a brutal, like, metal album type setting. This uh, is yeah, so something it's, very it's different fantasy. from all the... Yeah, it's exactly. Fantasy. It's sword and sorcery as opposed... That's, that's what's great about uh, Age of I, bore you. I, know, I lied. I am going to talk about Conan. I like <laughs> uh, but no, and now I'm afraid it's not going to win. I, was, I thought it was going to be a walk for it. Uh, no, like, so Middle Earth, you know, Lord of the Rings, that's high fantasy, and that casts a long, long shadow. And so anybody who does high fantasy is more or less just riffing off of Middle Earth. Conan's something totally different. It's sword and sorcery. It's it's hard, low, sort of guttural, visceral fantasy. Also ties in with Lovecraft mythos. Yes, it Another does. Huge, yeah. huge bonus the, to it. The authors of, of H.P. Lovecraft, and I do not know the author's name, for Conan, I apologize. Robert E. Uh, Howard. They were like buds, right? So they just kind yep. of like shared gods. And Clark with Ashton each other. Smith. All those, all those guys were BFFs. 
Um, yeah, I, Age man. of Hyboria is super like pulpy and low and cheap, and I'm so into it as an aesthetic. So I'm an Age of Hyboria vote. I, I so I have not I have not read any Conan. Stuff. I'm very unfamiliar with Conan. My what I know about Conan is what I've seen from Frank Franzetta paintings, which I love. Yeah, that's those, all you need to know. Honestly, they, that's, that's a pretty good summation of what Conan you is. Got it. Those yeah. paintings are incredible. Like I, I love those things. Uh, and I'd be, I, I would be okay with either of these winning. I'm more familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, and so I'm gonna give it a vote. I think Forgotten Realms is a cool place. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, Beholders, or you know, those are in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Colin, I believe it's different. Here. What's the major? If you had to sum it up in just a line, what's the major difference between Forgotten Realms? I mean, Forgotten and Realms, Dragon like it, Forgotten Realms, like Call to Fame, is the Dark Elves and their whole yeah, society. the Drow, the, the, the Rizzed, yeah. the Underdark Drizzed with Drizzed. Drizzed. Uh, yeah. I actually don't. I don't care much about the the whole Drizzed thing. Um, I got. But, I I accidentally fell thing. back. Yeah, I know it is. That's not how I got into uh, Forgotten Realms. I fell ass backwards into it when uh, someone lent me a copy of Baldur's Gate, which I'd never, I'd never even had any experience with Dungeons and Dragons. And so I kind of experienced the Forgotten Realms through that, uh, which was a PC game that kind of takes place in the Forgotten Realms. Um, so it, even now, like, I don't feel like I fully grasp the concept or like the, the size of what the Forgotten Realms was. It was just, it's huge to me. Uh, it's Everyone. a fully realized world world and i don't know i just i'm more familiar with the forgotten realms than i am the age of High everyone world. has cast their vote except for me and <laughs> i want to tell you right now i've played a lot of dungeons and dragons and most of my campaigns are in the forgotten realms and i absolutely have a blast going into the underdark i absolutely love the forgotten realms but there is no fucking way that it is better than anything that conan has ever done <laughs> oh, not a fucking chance so, yeah, the Age of Hyboria will knock out the Forgotten Realms three to two. So we have Restor Westeros and Essos. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Essos. Yeah. Uh, and versus Narnia. Uh, so Westeros and Essos of Game of Thrones fame, Narnia from the Chronicles thereof. Um, <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Westeros is the big main continent with yeah. like where all the, the drama happens. Well, yes. where, what is Essos? So I mean, Essos, Essos is the other continent where it's like across where, the sea where the Dothraki across the narrow sea where Daenerys is. Yeah, where, where Valyria. That's where the Khaleesi yes. is, is on Essos. Okay. It's like uh, like all the like Middle Eastern influenced places. And, yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I never got into Narnia, so. Well, I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with a weird. I, here's the thing. I don't really care about Narnia. I think it is a you know like a lot of these that we talk. It's a lesser Middle Earth with it. It does have some unique things about it, but who cares about them? They're kind of dumb. But here's the thing, like. Is there a place that would suck worse to live in than the Game of Thrones world? Like, well, it would be <laughs> hell. Maybe Hyboria. Even, Middle Earth would be pretty lousy. But unless yeah, you were, Hyboria, no, even unless you were Aragorn, bad. Middle Earth yeah. kind of sucks. Like, no, but here's the thing about Middle Earth. Like, at least Middle Earth has peaceful places. You've got the Shire. You've got, like, elf cities. You've got places to go in Middle Earth that are great. And, like, and unless they take place in a very specific part of time, like, are basically peaceful for the entire existence like I think you're getting a skewed look at Westeros though because Game of Thrones is about a big old fucking war I right? guess like I, before the war breaks out, it's it's not really before the war breaks out. It's been pretty peaceful like, since the last. Oh, war. it's it's great. Yeah. I I feel it's like though, even if you're like, even if you're someone of importance in Westeros, like you still have a shitty time. Like no one, even the privileged people of that world, are not living great lives. Yeah, oh, no, Joffrey Joffrey had it pretty good. He got poisoned to death though. Like <laughs> <He was> <laughs> <a> <laughs> deservedly. Uh, yeah. My, no, my no. big thing is this: I I loved those Narnia books as a kid. I was. So Super, yeah. super, super into him. Uh, now, though, too churchy. I will Way say, churchy. Santa, Santa Claus does. can give you weapons in Narnia. <laughs> Santa Claus argument. can drive up for, in the middle of the woods and give you a sword out of his bag if you live in Narnia. How often yeah. is that going to happen to me, though? <laughs> Does it, that didn't happen in Game of Thrones yet. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't mean it can't. He hasn't finished writing that book. They yet, haven't so. casted yeah. that. They haven't, <laughs> casted, they haven't <laughs> casted that character. I yet. know this is a controversial vote. I would much rather have anything to do with Game of Thrones than Narnia, but I'm going to vote Narnia because Westeros is a terrible place. Well, it sounds like Narnia sucks a lot of the time, too, until these Santa kids Claus show up. Santa Claus is there. These kids show up and they save everything, <laughs> and then the kids go away for 30 years, and everything turns to shit again until they come back. There's a 
a talking goat man. I, a, I, I'm a Westeros. Mr. Dumbness. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I like Westeros. Uh, I like Westeros too because it, um, like I know there are dragons in it or whatever. Spoiler alert. Uh, there are <laughs> dragons. But, and there are like limited amounts of magic, but they play it a lot more straight. Yeah. And like a lot of the other choices that we have here where it's just like nonstop sorcerers and wizards and witches and stuff. I'm going with that, Westeros. Yeah, I guess in Westeros, it seems to be that like if you have magic, it is that strong. Like it is, it's an actual fear at that point. Like it's an actual tool for you to get over. Like the I, necromancers, like you know, they, they had it, you know. I will I, say this, and it's going to sabotage anyone else voting for Narnia, I think. But you way like more likely to get laid in Westeros than Narnia. That's yeah, nobody's true. fucking in Narnia. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Nobody, yeah, that's, but nobody. well, that's the thing is like that once you start, Jesus ain't having it. That once you start, you can't go back to Narnia. in Narnia. That's so. yeah. There we. Uh, I, I like fucking Westeros <laughs> vote for me. Jesse, where's your? I, I don't care about either of these. Uh, you in Narnia, fucking? Jesse, help me out here. Westeros and Essos have won, Jesse. Oh, Narnia, <laughs> whatever, fuck it. <laughs> All right, Westeros and Essos knock out Narnia three to two. We got the land of Ooh versus Ivalis. Ivalis. Uh, so, um, I vow, Jesse. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> so land of Ooh from Adventure is, Time. Why is why is Final Fantasy why, why Final Fantasy twelve? It's not technic. It's not technic. So final every Final Fantasy. Okay. Oh, oh great. <laughs> because so there's more than one game set in that. I want Midgar. Well, because oh, there's yeah, a lot of games in Ivalis as opposed to just one. Yeah, it's That's it's a uh, it's a it's there was a whole thing where like several like every single Final Fantasy tactics takes place in. Um, Final Fantasy 12 is the only numbered game that takes place in it, uh, whereas the other numbered games take place in other what? Fuck it. I don't. I don't want to get. Look, there. There are lizards that punch things. All right. There's. There's uh, a bunch of rabbit people. There's a bunch of. Uh, I I love I love Ivalis. I I love the races oh, in Ivalis. And Jesse, uh, anything that can happen in Ivalis can happen in Ooh. I understand. One, I, I don't understand. know if that's And true. I know everyone's going to vote Adventure Time over over this, but I'm just saying I there's some I love Well, and and good, two, you love it. We get it. You to Final it? Fantasy's credit, there are things that are shared amongst like all the worlds. Like obviously, you know, there's, there's chocobos. There there are iconic things in all Final Fantasy worlds that are cool and keep that series like appealing to people. Uh, and I can't say anything more about it because I love Adventure Time and the Land of Ooh is incredible. Uh, and so that's <laughs> getting my vote. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a vote for that. Jesse, you are leaving out like the number one draw that Ivalis has over all of these, which is airships. Like, you can have an airship. Uh, yeah, they have sky pirates. Yeah, that's some um, that's some hype shit. Do they have candy people high. in Ivalis? They have <laughs> they have bunny people. They have which is about as they close have as you can get. people who go around dressed in full suits of armor called judges, and they just. They're just basically, it's basically just a fantasy version of Judge Dredd. Dude, Final Fantasy stuff, I mean, and this is my my favorite Final Fantasy. Like, so I'm going with Adventure Time. But the reason I'm going with Adventure Time is because Ivalice isn't even in my top three or four Final Fantasy settings. My favorite Final Fantasy settings are the ones that really deftly meld kind of like technological stuff with fantasy stuff, but still remain kind of um, romantic in the way that they're looking at it. Ivalice to me, like, because I never played Final Fantasy XII, but I did play Tactics, and it always just felt like um, Azeroth or like Hyrule, just kind of um, a retrofitted middle earth knockoff you're not wrong i think if you like especially in the original final fantasy tactics it feels it feels like a very boring generic fantasy setting i personally like it because uh later on with the with the more later games that they do kind of add more of that tech that mix of tech technology and fantasy and one and of the games it, it like it lives feeling. in a book right like Ivalis is inside yes. a book yeah uh, that was the advanced, tactics advanced right? games yes tactics advanced they take place in a book uh, yeah, I thought that was fucking lame too. <laughs> uh, I won't. I won't get into that. I I really really like the the races in it. I like the personality that it brings. Uh, for me to say that, I I get bored of fantasy really easily unless it's doing something interesting. Ivalice kept my attention. It's a shame that I didn't like how the way Final Fantasy XII played because I whatever. Is but uh, I get it. Like if you're gonna vote Land of Ood, that's fine. Is anyone else voting Ivalice? I don't think I don't. I, I believe it's four to one. 
All right. Well, this is the episode where I die on every hill. <laughs> uh, Land of Ooh knocks out Ivalis four to one. So we're into round two now with Middle Earth versus the Dragon Ball Universe, Dominaria versus Wonderland, Four Nations versus Age of Hyboria, and Westeros and Essos versus Land of Ooh. So up first, the Middle Earth versus the Dragon Ball Universe. I'm going Dragon Ball. <laughs> going Dragon Ball. <laughs> really? Yep. I, I'm a Middle Earth vote. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a Middle Earth I, I, I want to be a Dragon why... Ball vote. I want to. If anything appeals to me more, it's definitely a Dragon Ball vote. But I'm like, gonna. I'm just. I look. You guys are voting which is the better. I'm voting which one I care more about. <laughs> I don't care about. I don't care. Like Middle Earth is a great. Jesse has thing. got to get an anime further in this list. <laughs> Look, no, guys, I, it's I real simple. Much. Goku could beat Sauron in like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Goku could lift up all of Mount Doom. I, I honestly, I genuinely, like, I, I'm like, over Dragon Ball. What's but that, not to like about Middle Earth? You got two towers, you got talking trees, you got Shireses, you got taters. You uh, got do you rings. have Piccolo? No. Do you have That's Gohan? true. There's no. no Piccolo. You're right about that. I, th I think Middle Earth has a lot. I mean, I, f I can't believe I'm having to explain this. Uh, <laughs> I, I think Middle Earth has a lot more depth than Dragon Ball Universe. Like, yeah, like Dragon Ball Universe has these cool characters like Piccolo. But Piccolo is basically just the same thing as Vegeta. But just he looks different. And he's the same thing. As, Piccolo can uh, stretch his Majin Buu and like all these other guys because it's just the same fucking thing over <laughs> and over again because it's not a, it's not an actual story it's a fucking video game where guys just take turns fighting each other until they just dis discover he some new wrong. magic yeah okay, and okay, Goku could stuck. be any of them Piccolo. so oh, obviously this wrong. is an easy win for Goku okay okay wait so, so that's that's Dragon Ball Z though but I think you would agree I, that, yeah. that Dragon Ball has a lot more of like a, a, a story focused thing that's not just the next big fight yeah it's also a lot stupider than Dragon Ball <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, it's just like this old man trying to fuck people and see <laughs> And then, hey, like, there's and motorcycles. Like, and then there's like 20 minutes. There's like 20 minutes of people eating bowls of rice. <laughs> Middle Earth. Middle so, Earth. Uh, I have to break this tie, I think. And I really like both of these a lot. And I really didn't know how I was going to vote. Uh, but I think it does have to be Middle Earth. Right, right. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm pretending no, like I want you to tell that to Goku's hard dick right now. <laughs> Goku you could probably would, look. You so could probably have. You. you could probably have a lot more fun of like a life in Dragon Ball, maybe. But Middle Earth is a is a better setting. Maybe Moving if on. your dad ran the Capsule Corporation. <laughs> not, the, not the plebs. Not the plebs and the fucking. Yeah, know. but every year you get to watch like a cool tournament. That's like that's. Fair. All right. Middle Earth knocks out Dragon Ball Universe three to two. We have Dominaria versus Wonderland. Dominaria, comma, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I actually, uh, I might be Wonderland. Yeah, I, I, I expect Wonderland to move on. I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't vote yet. Pass. I can't. <laughs> I'm having a hard time figuring out even like what metrics I could compare these two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is, these are two extremes. I, yeah, I. Don't, I which one has more? Going... Which one has more drug use? Probably definitely Wonderland. Right? Wonderland. Well, yeah, but Wonderland Dominaria is... has more sex, right? Pretty... Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, so that's why I, that's why I'm torn. I don't know. There's don't know planeswalkers. I mean, there's a lot of real cool uh, dragons and shit you can hang out with. Yeah. I mean, here's the the bad thing about Wonderland is at some point you're gonna have to answer to the Queen of Hearts, and she sucks. Yeah. Yeah. She totally does suck. But you're also fighting for your life all the time in Dominaria. Yeah. I mean, I... you got to worry about Phyrexia like invading your planet and turning you into an undead something or other. Turning you into like you a bone what? machine. Yeah. I'm judging based on this. Which one would I want to go to for the weekend? And it's Wonderland. Yeah. yeah. It's like that's, that's a better hang. Like that's a way better party. You could hang out with that like walrus and, and the carpenter and eat all those clams. I was going to I was gonna choose the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. Just sure. Get, just get loose with those maniacs. <laughs> that's what I would do. But yeah, the, the walrus true. and carpenter works too. Wonderland's definitely got a lot more potential buds to like chill yeah. with. That's kind of uh, what I want from a face. Like, I mean, I don't know. I'm getting... I'm in my 30s now. I kind of just want a fantasy universe with a bunch of buds. Just yeah. 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 To hang out with. I, I, I think he's got the ex absolute perfect point, and I'm a Wonderland vote. Jesse? Yeah, you know, I'll be a Wonderland vote. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Wonderland as well. Wow. Wait. All right. Fine. Sorry, Magic the Gathering. 
All right, Wonderland knocks out Dominaria four to one. We got Four Nations versus the Age of Hyboria. <laughs> I I want to go Four Nations just because living in Hyboria would fucking suck. There's no sure. winning in that one. Uh, it's 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 metal as fuck, no question. But like Four especially, Nations has like jazz and movies by this but, point. Like especially what? if you're a woman in the Age of Hyboria, yeah, like no that's kidding. not a good place at all. What uh? What unless is you're best? like a, unless you're like a demon queen or something, then it's that's rad. True. Yeah, if you're a demon queen. But I then your like head's gonna get cut off by Conan. Like yeah. you don't. Like, but, on a long enough timeline, all our heads get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we're right? there. That's the we're gonna, yeah. I'm a four nations vote. It's yeah. just what, more interesting. What is best in life? Uh, it's shooting fire out, it's out of your hand. It's to, yeah, it's to, it's to move water around in a circle. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. It's, I love it. It's to crush your enemies and see them before you. <laughs> Driven before you, and then hear the yeah. lamentations of their women. No, I get it. Trust me. Um, I, that's I, not what you guys, would be doing. Suck, you would be cool. struggling with the harvest every season. And, You're damn uh, right, I would. Starving four your ass off. And four Conan crops. Just seems so it. lame to me. Like it just seems so. Uh, it just seems so. Like uh, I don't know. I've never seen the show. I, it just, it, it just, it looks, it watch an episode of Korra because it gets badass. So like someone's developing motorcycles at this point, and it still like even feels very fantasy, even with like this industrial revolution era type stuff going on. There, and yeah, it, they do it, inter- like the wildlife in that in that world is like i mean conan has like obviously like wild beasts and stuff too but in four nations like all animals are kind of like combinations of multiple animals so they're like famously there's like a polar bear dog and and stuff like that like as someone who was who was like when i first saw it i was a little pessimistic about it i can genuinely say there's a lot they fully realize that world is it is a good world does four nations have otherworldly elder gods to blast the minds of mortal men kind of yeah well only uh, there's like a giant yeah. talking lion turtle that in like can well, give it, the power no, of in elements season to two. Them. There's like Vatu and and the other spirit thing. That's right? true. Yeah, there uh, there, are, there are spirits of light and dark. So and- I'm four nations. I know that Cullen and Aubrey are Age of Hyboria. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> crazy to have the Age of Hyboria not go into the final four. I'm just gonna say. As far as I have it, it's it's two to one right now in favor of Age of Hyboria. So yeah. John and Jesse, where are votes? I'm pretty sure I know where Jesse's voting, so go I ahead. Mean, I'm, I already said Four Nations. Okay, okay, so I have to break you, this John. tie. Uh, I mean, both of these both of these speak to me on, like, an art level. Like, Sure, I think these are both really strong entries. Like, Korra, especially, Korra and Avatar, those two series are, are beautiful in terms of what normal mm-hmm. TV animation does. Yeah. And I just can't stop thinking about the, those Frank Franzetta paintings. Like, if it, imagine, I'm trying, like, imagine an animated series that looked like a Frank Franzetta painting. Let's like, yeah. see fire. Have you seen Fire and Ice? Yeah, 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 yeah. That gets close. I was going to say that or Cor- yeah, Greg said Korgoth, like, which was my first, like... Korgoth would have been such a great series if that had yeah. continued. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> I... I which am one speaks to your dick. Which one makes your dick move? That's what I want to know. Four yeah, nations. Four nations. <laughs> really? Four, four nations. nations. Are you oh, kidding me? Yeah. Uh, uh, four nations. Absolutely, because I could like f- I could control wind or water. Like I I could if you if you're an earthbender, you can specialize in bending metal and like you can control uh, steel and and stuff. Like I I I have to be a four nations vote. I yeah. am sorry, Conan. Wow. Oh. Damn. And, a, and a disgusting vote. The Four Nations <laughs> knock out of the age of Hyboria. We have Westeros. This is what's Nessos. wrong with America. This is the <laughs> softening of America. Yeah, the, you guys you guys need to toughen up. Watch some more Conan. Well, let me ask you guys this, just as like a follow-up to this. It, is everything that's ever been set in that world good? Like, aren't there bad Conan movies? Well, well, uh, yeah, there, like, there's bad Conan movies and there's bad Conan stories, but I mean, I'm thinking about the original material that was written by Robert E. Howard. Okay. All of that stuff is unassailable. It's absolutely amazing. I haven't really delved, honestly, I've only seen parts of the Conan movies because my, my oh, base I, is, is actually the, the short stories. I, I, I'm a huge fan of the movies and a couple of the books themselves. And I just, I, I, I don't know. I grew up on it. So it was like my, my stepfather was super metal guy. So it, I was raised from like age like four loving it. So it, it was Ride the Lightning and Conan the Destroyer. So uh, I'll put some links to Conan stuff in the show notes. Uh, Does that make everybody right. happy? Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> kind of. Uh, <laughs> 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 Westeros and Essos versus the Land of Ooh. Uh, Land of Ooh, no Land question of Ooh. for yep. me. Yep, yep, yep. 
I, and yeah, Land of Ooh got dark and weird as well, but like, that's, I mean, that's the thing. it's still Land a better Ooh, place to live. For, for those who don't know, like Land of Ooh is Earth, like centuries maybe after, like who knows? Yeah, how long it's after a post-apocalyptic Earth. Earth. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you know the effects of whatever happened to Earth has made it so that like bubblegum can come to life and be a sentient person, and like you've got magic dogs who can stretch. Like Land of Ooh is is a fun place where like almost kind of anything could happen. Yeah, the rad thing about Land of Vu too is that it's it, it seems to be take its influences from totally different places yeah, than everything else on our list right and it's it you know it's just yeah fuck it it's candy people and it's the the frost king and penguins and so walking uh, talking video game that you can play yeah exactly no I'm I'm definitely I'm balls out Land of Vu here yeah. it rains swords <laughs> hey, that's pretty fucking metal yeah, that's, like, that's, that's if you told me that it rained swords thing. in Game of Thrones I would believe you like yeah, <laughs> that, yeah it's rained arrows plenty uh hey. and fire for that my dragon fire so uh, i'm gonna ooh vote yeah jesse jesse uh, is still here land of land of poo wow oh, you're gonna win a lot of hearts on. and minds with that come on we got no, a I'm real kidding. dan I'm mckinney poo. over here no i'm, I'm a land of ooh vote I'm, i just uh, wanted to make that's that a dump sweep there. take that game of thrones nerds <laughs> Land of Ooh Sweep, knocking out Westeros and Essos. Sorry, guys, five to nothing. We've got Middle Earth. We're into the semifinals now. We've got Middle Earth versus Wonderland and the Four Nations versus the Land of Ooh. So Middle Earth versus Wonderland. I, I'll Middle tell you Earth. this. I, I <coughs> didn't expect these four, with the exception of maybe Middle Earth, but... uh this is interesting. I, I, yeah, Wonderland is very unique, but I mean, Middle Earth, from the beginning, we all kind of knew it was going to get to the finals, right? Yeah. Yeah. I course. at least knew it was getting to this far. I, yeah, I, I, like, I don't, I don't like Wonderland. It's too like, oh, now you're in this room and it's full of beetles, but some of them have nine <laughs> legs and some of them have three. I think that's part of the charm of it. Oh, I yeah. hate that shit. Like, I, it's just, I oh, that's... now you're here and, and there's, there's a stack of pogs, but you can only move them to nine spaces. And... I think those very qualities are what got it this far in the first place, Greg. Like, it's just, I, there's, there's no like rules as to what it is. I don't care. Well, that's kind of, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that is the appeal of Wonderland, right? It's this, these shit shifting rules and the shifting logic and the language games and stuff like that. That's it is what I love about I it. Be. But I got I got to give the edge to Middle Earth because of the breadth of stories and types of tales that can be told there. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland, there's one type of story. It's Alice kind of confused about like these weird logic uh, games. You actually there is American McGee's Alice, which... Uh, oh, all right. Well, it's... I don't even know what that is. It's going uh, uh, It's a dark reimagining slash sequel of Jesse Alice. Jesse loves okay. bringing up things that are going to bury a also, contestant in this Also, episode. might I point out the sequel of Alice in Wonderland that Tim Burton made. Oh, we don't boy. We don't need to talk. I mean, I mean there's Alice Through the Looking Glass, too, but Alice Through the Looking Glass is... It's the same thing Alice as Alice Wonderland, just more. Yeah, yeah. Th th that's good. Like, that's... Yeah, yeah. Is anybody uh, voting Wonderland? No. Okay, no. there we go. <laughs> All right, we've got a Middle Earth sweep into the finals, knocking out Wonderland five to nothing. We have the Four Nations versus the Land of Ooh. This, to me, could be a final. This is one of the hardest ones we've had so far. I, I got to tell you, I am so happy that we got both of these this far. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah that's fine. No, that's that's cool. I'm glad I'm happy for you. <laughs> Jesse! <laughs> uh, no, it's great. I'm really, I'm just smiling. I... Oh boy! I this is I, I'm gonna come is, in quick. I'm an ooh ooh oh. ooh. I, I don't oh, wow. I, before John even goes any further. I don't I don't think in a fantasy setting here that these two. I think these two are really 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 cool, especially with the induction of Korra. That whole world being newer when they yeah when they give they give Korra a big sort of technological shift. Well, it's it's it like industrial a long revolution time in between. Stuff. But land of ooh, anything is possible. I'm, I'm, I, feel like if, more, I feel like there's more, it, like it's all happening off off screen, but I feel like there's more fucking in Land of Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Some you gotta, going on, right? you gotta watch there's Korra. Some, there is some. Uh, I haven't seen, I haven't there's seen some, Avatar. There, well, there's, there's a lot, there's some fucking. There's a play. lot of romance in oh, Korra. There? There's yeah. a substantial like amount in this. There's shit too. going on in Land of Ooh, yeah. which I respect. Right. For you've, sure. got, you've got, um, uh, tree trunks and what's his name yeah. getting married, Mr. right? Pitt, like, right? Yeah, totally. Well, and also that uh, the flame princess just wants to right. fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, she, down. And, she's, well, and, and she's hooked up with cinnamon bun doing something. <laughs> Marceline and Bubblegum have totally gotten it on. Uh, yeah, but I, I, if it's if it's two votes for Land of Ooh already, I'm definitely going Four Nations. I want to live in like a crazy Eastern 1920s jazz fantasy world where I get to like bend metal with my fingertips. Right, just said something. the magic word. 
words on Four Nations. Oh, Thank no. you. I guys, it's I don't want to break this tie. Please. <laughs> Jeez. I can and I hear and I hear Dan McKinney now going, Good John, this is perfect. He will never vote for Adventure Time. Dan's not gonna vote for either of these. Dan hates cartoons. I I don't know what to do. I, I these are two of the best things to happen so, to Western animation in decades. Which one do you Man. think deserves to be in the finals? Because I, I agree. I don't think either of these are a wrong choice. I think there's a wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a land of ooh vote. Yeah, no, oh, that, yeah. That's, that, that's fine. Like, I, I think but, like I think you're right. Both of these are I, so incredible. Well, that, that, so, and, and my, my reasoning, which I'll try and keep pretty brief, is I, I, even though I would love, 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 love to be a bender, uh, I think, because not everyone's guaranteed to be born as a bender, you know, and I... I I think that world loses a lot of its appeal if you can't do that stuff. Whereas it would be fun to just be a regular old person in the land of you, like to just walk around. You have like no one goes to school and work and stuff. Like everyone just kind of has their own place they hang out at, and like you get to go visit the candy people, or like you get to go visit the wolves that talk and walk around. Like you know, you could just have a good life sure. in U. All right. Well, the Land of Ooh knocked out the Four Nations three to two, moving to the finals. So we have the bronze match, Wonderland versus the Four Nations. This is four a Four Nations, Nations win. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Four Nations. Uh, I'm, I'm going that with Wonderland. Wonderland still. Yeah. John, yeah. it's, it's three to one, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, I, I actually, I'm going to go Four Nations as well. I, yeah. Sorry, Wonderland. I'm sorry, Aubrey. But the Four <laughs> Nations knocked out Wonderland. Four Was to I one. the only vote for Wonderland? Yeah. Yes, you were. <laughs> wow. Okay. Fair enough. Um, and I'm never so... seeing Avatar now. Just because of this, <laughs> I'm never going to watch it. It knocked out what it, it knocked out fucking oh my god it knocked out Conan <laughs> and, don't think about things that got knocked out okay and <laughs> Wonderland I'm never watching Avatar just out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> you're right uh we're into the finals now we have Middle Earth versus the Land of Ooh I'm a Land of Ooh vote I'm up front saying it right now. <laughs> I, I think, I don't know, I think this is actually a really interesting matchup, guys. Like I think it is, too. You have, you have like, the grandfather of what this bracket is even about, and then you have Land of Ooh, which is, like, this, this, like, weird newcomer that, like, totally turns everything that fantasy settings used to be about on its head, like... And so, like, I don't, it, it, this is, I think this is a great matchup. Like, I, I agree. But my I least favorite thing is when, like, an obvious superstar wins the, wins the whole bracket. Like, Chocolate Chip won Best Cookie. That's still like, well, yeah, that makes sense. It's boring to me. Land of Ooh winning this is, like, pretty interesting. That's a cool statement to make. I think Land of Ooh getting to the, getting to the finals is super interesting, man. I, and I'm totally fine with it. But, like, the only thing that I thought could really unseat Middle Earth in the finals would have been Age of Hyboria, um, which obviously some people didn't agree. Uh, but uh, but no, Middle Earth. It's got to be Middle Earth. I love Adventure Time, and it's a it's a respectable second place for me. Colin, I don't know, man. I, I I'm still tossing it around. I think I think the Land of Ooh being so wild with taking all of the liberties of all of these things that came before it in this entire bracket, for that matter, and using it to its all new adventures, basically, um, is something different and it's fun and it's definitely going to be something like kids will talk about for the next twenty years. I'm sensing a bit. um, <laughs> but yeah, Middle yes. Earth is. Like the, the, the prime time, like it is the basis of all of it to begin with. That's fine and all, but do you like outside of the Lord of the Rings story? Do you actually like want to explore that world again? I, I played I think, Shadows I of Mordor. So, yeah. I loved what about it. the Hobbit. Like, yeah, the Hobbit. The I mean, Hobbit well, yeah, I those mean, outside movies of those, those blue two. for what it's worth. Oh, I uh, love the I, first two. I was trying to avoid bringing up the Hobbit movies. I, 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 I oh, okay, boy. okay. I liked the first one a lot. I, I uh, actually, <laughs> I did like the first one a lot as well. Uh, first one, I, did, I, I, I heard. I heard bad. I didn't. It was. It, what happens in that movie? The the they, first, they get Bilbo the and movie? then they go to the Goblin King, right? Yeah. Goblin Why King does King that Ball? take three hours? Well, because I mean, that's. I don't know. Do you want a real answer to that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the real <laughs> answer is because well, we have all this money, we should probably spend it, right? I don't know. Well, I, and and the, and the reason that's a good thing is because the Hobbit, the book, is like one of the most leisurely paced books where nothing happens. Nothing happens in the Hobbit books. Like, well, then and, why and, would and you make a movie of out of it? Well, because 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 some people think that you can have movies that are paced differently but they don't another. do you they, 
they don't the, do that in the movie. The movie sure is constantly like, like, all right, now let's go here. Now let's go here. Now let's go here. Well, sure, but like here. nothing's nothing's happening. There's like a 20 minute scene of they're war constantly scene trying while to they make clean something up, happen while they clean up a uh, lunch or whatever. Well, yeah, but they're constantly trying to like force action. There's like that scene where like the uh, they were trolls or something like, oh, let's eat these dwarves or hobbits or whatever they are. And then like that whole thing doesn't matter whatsoever. It does matter. It shows you what Bilbo Baggins matters, is capable yeah. of. Well, it's we get so that later on like, anyway. Well, no, but it's it, it's a uh, it's, like it's force. I don't know. Uvo. <laughs> I, I, I'm a strong I, think, I love the Hobbit. I love the Hobbit dearly. Uh, I, I think that first Hobbit movie is great. I think it's it was such a like it was so refreshing to see a long movie that focused on a character and and his reaction to what was happening to him rather than this big eventful thing, which is what the Hobbit movies turned into. Uh, I, 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 I am going to vote. <laughs> Oh God! I'm gonna vote Land of Boo. Okay, boo. it's two to one. <laughs> Land of Boo. Land of Boo. I'm I'm sorry. I I have Middle Earth has all my respect, but I I want to see and know more about the Land of Ooh. I'm I'm. I o- guess there's not there's nothing more that we could know about Middle Earth. Uh, it's yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty established. much covers it. I mean, and, and the thing covered. is, you know, yeah. at the at the end of the Lord of the Rings, like that's. I mean, the story is, you know, the reason why the elves are the little elves are leaving Middle Earth because Middle Earth is kind of <laughs> it's about to become a more boring. Even the place. elves are tired of Middle right. Earth. Like, right, like <laughs> right. at, the, at yeah. the end of the Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth is is that world is being turned over to to men to humans. Like it's it's about to become a much more boring and bland place because the Lord of the Rings the was thing. conceived. Like, like Tolkien wanted it to be sort of mythology for England. Like he was like, well, I it, want. To- it, it was a tie. It's a period, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I, I, I'm I gonna guess- go Land of Ooh. Ah, uh, now that you said it like that, now that I'm, I'm, I was, I was a Middle Earth. That's vote, the most, to that's the honest. most convincing anti, like anti Middle Earth argument I've ever heard, which is that even the elves think it's done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's the thing. As soon as you said that, it. I was like, fuck it. Uh, oh, fuck yeah, I'm not changing my vote, but <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a land work. of Uvo. Well done. That's it then. Jesse just okay. locked it up. Colin, yeah, if you want to go Middle Earth or Land of Ooh, it's up to you. Yeah, I, I think I I do think Land of Ooh owns this, and I think they should win it. But I'll just throw one to Middle Earth just because. Uh, wow. I think I think it, both of these work just well. Uh, there it is then. Wow. All right, guys. So the Land of Ooh is the best fantasy setting. Middle Earth would be second place. The Four Nations from Avatar slash Korra is in third place. And Wonderland is dirty toilet water. <laughs> I'm very happy with this outcome. I think this was a very good bracket. Man, yeah. Well, I hope I hope everyone had fun. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's adventure time. You come grab your friends. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like people are stunned right now. It sounds I, like I, everyone's reeling. I'm I'm I, I'm kind of uh, overjoyed because we've had kinda... we've had adventure time. We've we've had Finn and, Finn and Jake and Ice King and stuff. We've had characters from Adventure Time on the show before, and they've never quite gotten to the end. Yeah. Uh, whereas Middle Earth, uh, you know, I believe did did Smaug win Best Dragon? Smaug. Smaug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smog, Smog won Best Dragon. So yeah. we've we Middle Earth has kind of gotten a little bit of its due already. Adventure That's Time right. has been fighting for it for a while. Yeah, it earned it. All uh, right. So you want to wrap it up? Well, yeah. Well, I would like Aubrey uh, to thank Aubrey for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for yeah. having me. I, I'm 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 reeling, but uh, <laughs> I, I think I'll it'll remember. it'll sink in I, soon enough. That's, I'm that's gonna go. Thing, I'm like, gonna get after we finish up. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I think I can pull myself together. There, but there's, yeah, there's always two ways it goes with guests on the show. They either come in and they manage to like strong arm strong arm what they're rooting for, and it makes it all the way, or we systematically break all of their darlings in front of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what happened. I'm kind of butthurt about it. Like I'm trying to be rude, but like I'm kind of irritated. So that's why, like, that's why I'm being a little strange. Well, right then now. I tell you totally what, bracket okay. has done its job. That's, yeah, that's what we are good at. As long as someone ends up butthurt, right? We, we, yeah. We, oh yeah, yeah. We, Trust we, us. When this good. goes up live, we are people will be very, very upset with us. Uh. So yeah. Uh. So I know you got some projects going on. I do. So listen, here's the thing. If you guys are like me and tired of these nerds trying to shove these kids <laughs> shows down your throat, you want some real. <laughs> dick swinging sword swinging heavy metal fantasy stuff i've got a podcast i'm doing right now it's called scald s-k-a-l-d it's uh it's all written by me uh, and then it's all spoken by me it's like a it's an ongoing serialized spoken word fantasy narrative the way i describe it to people it's like conan but as read by the ultimate warrior it's a lot of <laughs> shouting, 
It's very intense. Uh, it's available at scald, S K A L D dot podomatic dot com. Uh, new episode every Thursday. So tomorrow, April 9th, will be scald number three. You guys can and should. Ooh, so it's still early. Should, uh, People can yeah, jump get, in right now. Yeah. Yeah, you can get right on top of that scald train, baby. Uh, and then uh, also, I do uh, another show called Straight Shoot, which is a, a professional wrestling uh, chit chat panel discussion show. Uh, this past Monday, I had on Ethan Page, who's one half of the Monster Mafia, which is a really great independent tag team, and Chris Robinson who's an editor at Marvel. And then coming up this Monday, immediately after Raw on April 13th, I've got Josh Alexander, uh, who's the other half of Monster Mafia. See what I did there? And Alex Levine from uh, Gaslight Anthem, who's a huge wrestling oh, fan. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, uh, I get good guess. And, and that show uh, you do live, and it also gets archived, right? Exactly. Yeah, I do it live. It's a it's a live panel discussion show immediately after Raw, and it's on YouTube. You can go to aubreycitterson.com uh, to, to find links to everything. It lives on YouTube, but then I also push over the audio to iTunes and Stitcher. Just just uh, search for straight shoot. Super yeah, it easy is, to find. It's fantastic. Hey, uh, you're too kind. No, 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 it's great. All right, guys. That's awesome. I, I, I did not know those details about Scald. Yeah. I, I, I knew you were doing a fantasy show, but that actually sounds incredibly interesting and unique. I'm going to check yeah. it out. Thanks, man. I what I'm like telling people is it's, it's very weird. Uh, it's a strange thing, but the reception's been really good so far. So I feel like, you know, you can either check it out and everybody else is right. And then you've got like a new favorite podcast. To <laughs> or you can check it out and you could be like the first guy to hate it. Which is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could be the first Scald hater. Yeah. You could be the, like, you could like sort of like get the ground floor of the anti scald movement which is also <laughs> so either way check it out all, all right. right excellent well well thank you for being on and uh and as always guys you can find us at bracketpodcast.com on twitter facebook tumblr and instagram as bracketcast you can find us on uh itunes or whatever podcast client you use just search for bracket beep 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 uh that's that's my little, little patreon tune there um I just want to say thank you so, so much to my good personal friend, Nick Driver, uh, John Jordan, Lindsay, Jeffrey, Mitch Albright, Anarchy Marie, Brandon Cranford, Michael Zavala. You guys have chipped into the Patreon. You're heroes. I want everybody to know that uh, the peoples whose names I just read, they're better than you. You you are you are inferior to them as a human being. Um, I wish the circumstances were different, but they aren't. So you should really figure that out, you know? Um Thank you guys. We, we have a lot going on. Um, the bracket crew just recorded a, a D and D podcast that Dan McKenney is making. It's called rolling. It's very clever. Do you get it? Cause we roll dice in it. Um, had a good, good time making that. Listen for that soon. We have the shirts of my dog ate it finally shipping. Um, I want to show you guys the art for the, the goth cousin versus drunk uncle shirt. It is so good. So good. I can't show you yet, but soon. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm just so happy to make this dumb show with everybody. Uh, I should really write a script for this, but I don't because I'm, I want to, I want to speak raw to you, the listener. This is our moment. This is, we're sharing this. You don't care. I'll just let you get back to the show. Leave us a review. Don't leave us a review. We're so tired and we don't care anymore. Yeah, I don't, I, if uh, I read one more review, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> you're a chump, you're chump listeners. If you're we chump. go any higher in the iTunes rankings, people are going to find us and start listening. And then I'm just going to cancel the podcast. I don't want <laughs> it's it. It's going to ruin your life, man. Yep. If people, if, yeah. if people, if people find out that you guys, uh, jobbed out middle earth to land of Ooh, it's <laughs> it's over it's true and uh so we'll see you nerds next week yeah doing a professional radio show on the internet